Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exam and help them to clear as soon as possible. So with this uh, interview, I am back with a few of the discussions with my students where uh, they have been able to clear a particular exam. So today we have with us Shakti. He has been able to clear FRM level one in his first attempt in the May 2023 attempt and he has been able to clear it along with his full-time public sector bank job. So we're going to be talking to him about his journey, the way he prepared, what challenges he raised and what was the main things that helped him to clear the exam. So let us start with the discussion. Sakti, first of all, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. So for the benefit of the audience, if you could give a brief before you, when you started your preparation, what were you doing? What was the profile? What was the experience that you were having? Yes, sir. Good morning to you, sir. And thank you for having this session with me. And uh, my introduction is that uh, I'm Shakti Vireshwar. I, I, I have joined in a public sector branch uh, two years back. And uh, I'm working until now. And uh, how to came into this FRM field is that uh, just out of curiosity, how the exam is, because while I was under training, I had a trainer mm -hmm. uh, who used to tell this about the courses in IABM. So he used to tell that this is kind of a, a tough exam, hard to clear, and you have to put a big amount of fees to uh, clear this exam also. So right. I had friends of mine, two of, uh, two of me, two of my friends, and uh, we had a decision that, okay, let's crack this exam within uh, completing the probationary period. Just had okay. an agreement, and later uh, this turned into some kind of seriousness. So wow. this was the thing. Wow. Uh, this was how it started uh, joining in the forum. And uh, I, while I was searching for some kind of a course, some kind of coaching, I found you and uh, had a good uh, kind of a coaching with you. And uh, because of you, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when did you start the preparation with us? Which month you started? I started on um, November, sir. So I, while I was, uh, I joined in your cl class by October and I started by November. And you were part of the live online batch. So you were coming yes, on weekends. So weekdays you were working, you were watching the videos, and then weekend you were coming to the lectures, right? Yes, sir. Uh, at the, on the start, I was working, I mean, after work, I come to home and I used to study ar around three to four hours. I used to do only recording sessions. And at that time, I was a little bit fast. I was uh, I was so eager to study new things. So I was doing a kind of more videos. I completed within a month around uh, 10 to 20 weeks of 20 to 15 weeks of video. And I after then I called you back uh, whether can I give for a forum level two also. That uh, I didn't know that was uh, that much thing. And uh, later you taught me that no, you don't go in a hurry. Just have a read. Uh, it's not about learning the things and getting to know, kind of uh, having a deep understanding knowledge instead. So later I have, later I started to study law and uh, I mean started to study law and later uh, I understand some con concepts deeply and uh, writing question banks and everything. So okay. then I got a clear idea that a forum is kind of a tough thing. Later right. I... Uh, Asaki, your voice is slightly low, huh? Your voice is slightly low, so you'll have to speak louder. Okay. Oh, okay. But uh, with respect to uh, what you're saying, that initially you, was, you were uh, you, uh, watching the videos at a very fast pace. And then as per our discussion, I told you to slow down because generally this does not help. But my one of the uh, question that I had is how many hours you were giving on each day when you started it in November? After your job, how much time you were dedicating? Earlier, I used to give around three hours per day, three to four hours per day. If I find that topic as interesting, I used to give around five to six hours also. But my minimum was it was three to four hours. And after the March, after uh, the quarter got ended, like financial quarter got ended, I had a, a deep learning and uh, it took around six, minimum six hours to uh, on a daily basis. Wow. Okay. Because along with a full time job, dedicating this much amount of time is really tough and you have been able to do it and especially a public sector bank where you have to work a lot so from that perspective time was uh allocation was done properly but 
uh, you followed a specific plan i mean you were watching in the same order the same, the way i was taking lectures yes actually the what you were given in that weekly plan right i was following that uh, yeah. and i was not uh, i was continuing the same like uh, in a faster pace then i got slow in between because of the work uh, pressures and uh, again i went in a faster pace like that but eventually i ended up like i uh, finished my first reading on the time of march march itself first reading of the entire curriculum yes right okay and when when did you completed your chapter wise solving of the questions chapter wise solving uh, i did it along side by side but okay. on the time of uh, february march you know that uh, it was some kind of pressures and uh, for trend i didn't give uh, at that time i just uh, go through the videos and i st started reading only books and after the april i completed the whole question bank and section wise test also i had a first i completed only the first section test of each of the books so basically by the end of april you had completed all your 60 chapters watching the videos reading the textbook and wherever it was possible to come in online and attend the lecture and also solving the chapter wise question by end of april correct okay first and then you ha then you went to the sectional test you completed all the chapter wise cha book wise sectional test how yes. many mock papers did you did you uh, give actually i gave just one mock paper after april okay. uh, on the may time i just gave only one mock paper i start and i that, focused only on facing the chapters uh, all the time okay and that and mock uh, paper was a uh, gap sample paper i didn't get it sorry so that mock paper that you solved was it gap sample paper yeah gap sample paper yes okay and what was the average score that you got in that mock paper uh, i solved that gap first part paper uh, so 2023 model paper and i got around got around the 58 58 okay and by looking at this number were you confident about the exam Uh, I don't. I didn't feel kind of. Uh, I thought it was a good score. Okay, uh, had kind of much level of confidence. Okay, we can go through it and we can clear it. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Now, uh, when you went to the exam, what happened in that first one hour when you started solving the actual exam? In the first one hour, the questions were. I find it. It was so easy. Like uh, oh, on the first okay. five to ten questions, it was easy for me. and uh, it was much of a theory though so i didn't feel that much uh, stressed to so i had a flow with that i didn't go i, I didn't skip the questions i was going along with the flow and uh, in between the around the like after crossing 25 to 30 questions i got somewhat uh, kind of difficult questions difficult questions and uh, it was problematic and uh, at that point of time i thought that i should have solved some Problem, problematic questions <laughs> like the quant question. Uh, I would have, I should have solved some more. So at okay, that and what was the overall, I, what overall theory and overall calculation in your in your paper? I didn't get it. What was overall theory out of hundred question? How many theory and how many calculation were there? Actually, I uh, I think so. I got around forty percent was uh, uh, problematic question. Calculation question. Okay. Yeah, so theory was comfortable for you. You were able to pick up theory properly, but yes, sir, calculation you struggled a bit. Yes, right? Right. theory was fine though. Okay. Actually, I was good at quants. Actually, I I love the chapter two book only. I started uh, actually I had a two to three times reading of quants book only because I I like quants. So, but uh, what I did the wrong okay. was I didn't do the more kind of practice questions. I had mm -hmm. calculation based that. practice questions. Yes, I didn't uh, do uh, practice questions more of that, and uh, at that point of exam, I I realized that mistake. Okay, and also uh, when we are looking at uh, time management, okay, so on an average, were you able to complete everything uh, in that within time within that time manner of four oh, yes, hours? Sir. Yes, sir. I was able to complete. At the last time, uh, last minute, I had around five questions which I was not able to solve. 
all the five was it was uh, once only i was not able to solve that and uh, that was the last okay. five question i not okay got it got it and then uh, when you came out of the exam what was the thought process i mean did you had any number in your mind that i will get out of 100 i'll get 70 60 what, what was there any number i was totally blanked out uh, i was able, i was trying to recall the questions what i did and what are the mistakes i did i was also going through the books whether uh, what i did was right or wrong and uh, <laughs> finally i realized that okay i'll get it around 60 then that will be fine i don't want to score more also i thought 60 uh, be my average score will be okay now one one quick question how frm is different than iibf exams iibf totally different it's completely different uh, kind of question wise and uh, knowledge wise um, okay. actually i completed my jab cib in my first attempt uh, while i was in probationary period uh, completed and uh, that gave me some kind of boost up like uh, it gave me some kind of basics uh, in uh, duration of bond and everything options and mm-hmm. basic knowledge about what all those in cib so later i uh, so jumping into frm i had kind of uh, understanding okay these are the topics and these are the definitions i know but entering into the deep knowledge uh, it was a little bit difficult and the questions that were asked uh, comparatively to cab and jab was totally different and uh, it was not kind of objective thing, like a one word uh, option it was kind of completely kind of a sentence in a forum and it was confusing that in the jab cb it will kind of a single word and uh, it will be a Easy to click, uh, easy to choose also. So we can uh, opt out of the, we can remove the options in there. Okay, but over here the difficulty level is slightly tough. The question, the way the questions yeah. are framed, it is slightly tough. So that created a challenge. Yeah, Now, if uh, so, yeah, please go. Yeah, comparing comparing it was totally confusing. Which one was the correct? At certain point of time, I thought that I think both answer might be correct, and uh, we should choose <laughs> both of them. Okay, okay, and with respect to uh, the quartile, so you got around one three one one. Okay, which means in the top. Ah, uh, two three two one. I said it's two three two one. Okay, because as yeah. per my understanding, it was one three one one. So we'll we'll change it if that is the case. You said two three two one, right? Okay, one second. So two, three, two, one. So basically, in the second, first book and the third book, you got second quarter, which is very good. But book two, quants, you had you had interest in that. You were reading a lot, but you got slightly down. Okay. Yeah. So overall, on the overall level, when the result came out, what was the reaction of people around you? Um, actually, I think the result came around five o'clock in the morning, I guess. So yeah. I. I slept up. I didn't. Uh, I moan. My phone also was switched off. My friends were calling me that the results were out, and I woke up around eight thirty nine o'clock. And I was uh, checking my opening my phone. Then I got to know that uh, from Reddit page, I got to know that results were out. So kind of going. Uh, it was while checking. It was going a link into link into link. Like uh, it was going around. And uh, after seeing this, I was so happy that I cleared. And I told my friends and family. they were so happy happy and they had more confidence in me than uh, comparing to me so i told to my manager also he was also so happy and he encouraged me to do immediately the second level too so it was completely it was a good thing wonderful wonderful and then uh, if i ask you if you can give three tips from your experience if anybody is preparing for fr what would be those three tips like um, yeah have a proper schedule first so whether it's uh, the schedule given by you or uh, if you can't do since if you are working guy so have a proper schedule there might be some uh, missings like you will be you can't do at the uh, single day but you should uh, compensate that with uh, during the weekends so if you have a proper schedule and uh, you can have the time management to complete the uh, the study so that is the first thing and uh, mm-hmm. the second thing is that uh, practice more 
that's where i did the mistake so practice more in problematic things and the theory too so you will be you won't be feeling some kind of panic or uh, while writing the exam or something so and the third thing is um, have a motivational element uh, whenever if we get low or uh, if we feel tired of uh, going through this after a hectic uh, job so have a motivational element so that it will be helpful and uh, my motivational element was uh, this big shot movie so uh, whenever okay. i feel low or get tired i used to see that movie and i got get some i'll get some inspiration on that and i'll uh, start studying so each one sure. i should have a motivational element so that it will be uh, it will it will ask them to not to give up what we have started so that's it. right wonderful i mean shakti this conversation is really helpful because first of all working in a public sector bank and clearing the exam is not easy and doing it from november till may because all people think that you need one hour oh, sorry one full year to complete the preparation for level 1 and then it is so difficult exam that way so you started in november you completed in uh, may and the quarter is also very good so i think so this interview will help A lot of other students to prepare and plan, and not to lose the motivation to go for the exam. Like you said, scheduling all of these important pointers they will they will incul inculcate in their preparation, and that is going to be really helpful. So thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us uh, regarding your preparation for level one. I'm sure level two also you will be able to clear in the first attempt itself. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.